Hello, my name is Luis Velasquez. Welcome to this video on oil painting with calcite sun oil. I began to oil paint in 1957 at the age of 13, and for the next 43 years, like every other artist, I was exposed to hazardous and toxic materials as I painted my pictures. In the year 2000, I began my current work focusing on safety for fine art painters. I am proud to say the last 11 years has resulted in my creating of several safe methods and use of materials for artists. Once you see this video and practice its principles, you will laugh at how simple the method is, and you will gain insight and understanding of its complexity. This will be a journey back in time to the studios of Rembrandt and Velasquez and other great masters, where you will learn the secrets of how they prepared the materials and used them to create their masterpieces. This ancient technical knowledge will serve you as a contemporary artist of today to create paintings that reflect your own view of today's world. Thank you very much. Notice the lines on the back board. The jar on your left is uncleansed oil, full of mucilage, and it is not transparent. The middle jar is cleansed of mucilage, but not yet sun-bleached. The last jar is sun-bleached and sun-thickened. Notice that the oil in both jars is fully transparent. Properly prepared linseed flax oil will not yellow, as this test will show you. The jar appears yellow, but you're looking at the oil in concentration. If you look at the drops of oil on the white plate, you can see the difference of coloring. When we are oil painting, we use the oil very thinly as we apply emulsions or oil outs. Here you will see how I rub this in thinly and you will see that the oil is crystal clear and colorless. Many companies sell flaxseed oil. Read the fine print carefully on the labels. The psyllium husk can be found also in health food stores. Liquor is a mixture of ethanol and water held in perfect suspension. The amount of ethanol is one half of the proofing. Do not use liquor above 101 proof for the psyllium alcohol method. For many years I would stir the oil with a spoon or a stick. Recently I found that a ladle is more efficient as it introduces more air into the oil. 
Oil thickens with oxygen and bleaches with sunlight. Do not worry about bugs getting into the oil. They are all easily filtered out by the cotton ball in the funnel. The first photo shows pure white mucilage on the bottom of the jar. I used a special technique to cause the mucilage to drop out of the oil. These four photos taken over a 12 month period show the mucilage decomposing and turning brown over time. The oil seen in concentration is pale yellow. Notice the clear, crystal clear, colorless bubble. In the live film sequence following, I will show you more details of the dark mucilage and of the yellow oil in concentration and of the crystal clear colorless thin bubble seen in the jar. When we rub on an oil out on the surface of, of a painting it remains colorless and crystal clear and will not yellow over time. A glazed floor tile makes a perfect grinding table. Do not buy a black one nor a white one. Megan's CSO is easy. Please study the 12 minute video seen later in this DVD. Mix the CSO with the tube oil paint in roughly equal amounts. You do not need to be exact. Some colors need a bit more, others a bit less. CSO is light beige in color but is 98% transparent. CSO has no coloring nor tinting strength. Grind the CSO well with the tube oil paint. It only takes seconds. An emulsion made with a superior oil and the egg glare is a true wonder medium. 
We will only use the clear white of the egg. We will not use the egg yolk. 